All right, guys, today I've got my Nexus 7, and we're going to go through uh, an install on how to install Ubuntu Touch Preview. So, this is the new uh, tablet interface for Ubuntu, and uh, it is a preview, so not everything's functioning, but I'm going to show you guys how to install it. We're going to use uh, Multi ROM to install it, which is a really cool program that I have on my Nexus. And uh, if you want to know how to install Multi ROM, please uh, watch my other video on it. Uh, I'm not going to go over that today. Um, so, let's kind of get into some prerequisites here. You're going to want to download, um, if I can find it here, my SD card, downloads. You're going to want to download this file right here, which I will show you what it is. It is MROM. It's a pre-installed image for Grouper, which is the Nexus 7, but it's been uh, modified to work with Multi-ROM. Again, links for this, just like always, are going to be in the video description down below, so check that. Um, so you got that, and then you have this other file, which is from Ubuntu, and it is the Qual Quantal pre-install. don't even know how to say that. Fable? I'm not even sure. But this is the... 480 megabyte file off Ubuntu's site. Again, links are in the description. So you're going to have those two files on your device. You also want to have Multi-ROM installed uh, along with the latest patched uh, twerp recovery for Multi-ROM. Again, directions and all that. You'll see it. So, first thing we're going to do is just power this device off and we're going to power back on and we're going to go into the Multi-ROM boot menu and we'll show you how to get into recovery that way. So let's just let this reboot and we'll go from there. So reboot. All right guys, so we are in multi-round boot menu. So once we install this, right now we have internal, which is just stock Android, which is 4.2.2. Uh, the next thing we're gonna have is, we'll see Ubuntu in here once we install this. Um, normally if you want to boot right now you just hit the boot button on the bottom but we want to go to miscellaneous and then we want to say reboot to recovery so this is going to get us into the multi-rom twerp recovery um, so let's just let it boot into recovery here shouldn't take too long also you guys want to make sure that you have plenty of good battery life when you before you start doing this I have 80% battery that's fine for the Nexus 7 uh, just in case you don't want to shut off in the middle of your install. So, we're in here, uh, and we want to add a ROM and multi-ROM. So we're going to go to Advanced, and then we're going to go to Multi-ROM, and we're going to go to Add a ROM. Okay? So, now we have some options here. Right here it says Android Ubuntu Touch. So we want to have that one selected. The next one says Share Kernel with Internal ROM. We want to select Do Not Share. All right, so you got that, and then the next is where you want to install this ROM. I'm just going to say internal. You also need to have at least a gig of internal space to do this. So I do have that much space on my internal of my Nexus 7, so we're good there. And then we're going to hit next. So now it says to pick the source. So we want to say install file. And here we go. We're going to go up. So I can find my downloads. Where are we at here? Download. And the first file we actually want to install, let's see here, is the file that is from the multi ROM guy, which is this top one, which is MROM, Quell Pre Install Grouper. So we got that file, and we're going to install it. So I don't know how long it's going to take, probably a little bit, not too long, because I don't think this file is very big. So let's let this run and we'll go to the next step. Alright, so that is now installed. Uh, pretty easy to do right there. So then we're going to go back. And the next thing we want to do is... Alright, so we flashed the first file. We're just going to go back here, guys. And we're going to go to ROM list. And we're going to choose this. And then we're going to say flash zip. Now... What I found is right here is the other file under downloads. For some reason it doesn't work to flash it from here. Don't know why, but what I found is if you go up, up, and we go into it this direction, I'll show you here, you want to go under uh, data, then we want to scroll to 
media and zero now if we scroll down to uh, downloads and hit it now for some reason this path is acceptable for it so hit this and now flash I tried it the other way just doing it from downloads SD card downloads and it failed so for some reason this way of doing it actually functions um, don't know why but just do it this way it should work for you guys like I said it failed on me it took me about 30 minutes to figure out what the problem was so uh, this is going to take a little while to flash. It is a pretty good sized file. So let it run and we'll go from there. Alright, so the flash finished. It's been about, uh, took about three minutes probably to do it. So not too bad really. So um, from here just hit reboot system. And you're going to boot back into the multi-ROM options. And this thing's actually going to be named the first file you installed. That's what's going to be named in multi-ROM. So you have internal, and then you have the other one, which is the MROM. So just select it, and then say boot. So this should boot you into the Ubuntu preview. Ubuntu, I don't know how to say it. Probably saying it wrong, but it'll get you into the preview. So let's see if it has a boot animation, or if it just boots into it, how this works. Let's just watch it here for a sec. If it takes too long to boot up, I will just probably pause here. Oh, voila! There you go, guys. So now we're talking. Oh, let's see here. Shut up already. That's a pretty quick time. Well, it booted up for a sec. There we go. So I don't know. Let's see how this works. Oh, oh, oh it's everything's still trying to get figured out here. All right, so let's try it here. Let's actually rotate this thing. Will it rotate on me? No, it will not. Only one directional. Alright, so I'm not sure how this all is going to function. Tweets received. Let's see what we have here. So here's some uh, hotkeys. Um, like I said, I don't think a lot of this works yet. But I want to see if we have any pull downs or anything. What else do we have over here? There, oh, there it is. Okay, so you just swipe that screen away. Like say, first time using this thing, not really sure how this all functions. So you have stuff for people here, home, you have some applications, some browsers, so you can open up the browser and there's a network area because I'm probably not connected yet. Okay, so here you have your battery, your display brightness, stuff like that in here. Let's see what else we have. Time zone. So if you actually pull down on the icon on top, it actually goes to that feature. So that that's kind of cool. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and hit to my network here and see if we can connect up. Alright, so it's trying to connect. I think it's connected. Let's go back out of here. Let's refresh our internet browser. Let's see what we have. Okay, so here you go. It brought up Ubuntu as a default. Um, let's just close this really quick. And there you are. There's your screens. Now, let's see how you get out of this thing. There you go. You can swipe it to the side. Um, so again, we have apps here. We have home, people, music, let's see, videos after there. So those are your main screens. And even from music. Oh, that just swiped. That's pretty interesting, because I swiped down the side. It brought back my last application. If I swipe in the middle, it just turns the pages. Now if I swipe, see what we have on the bottom down here. Oh, that's an indicator that tells you what screen you're on. Whether you're at home or apps. Let's see here. Come on now. Yeah, right here. Videos, home. Tells you what screen you're on. And you can just go to home. It's a shortcut little feature there. Or you can scroll it up and go to music. Brings you to music. So, like I said, you've got a lot of different features here. Oh, and then look at this too here. This is kind of neat here. If you go up to the top, messages, scroll over, sound, over. So if you guys, yeah, you can see it highlighting different stuff. So you can scroll right through all of your quick settings right there and pull them down. So I kind of like that. This is kind of neat on the side here. Um, 
some kind of neat features right there. Let's see what we got here. This is home. This brings you back to home really quick. Uh, Gmail. Don't know if this functions or not. Like I said, this is a preview. Yeah, so I can type in. It looks like it's doing it through the internet, though. Not an application. Um, there's my last application I was running. Oh, there it goes. Pull the keyboard down. So here's some running applications right here on top. Um, there's a bunch more apps on here. Notepad, phone, sharing, weather, uh, YouTube. Let's just see here. Weather, bring up. There's weather in Vegas. I'm actually hopefully going there soon. That's going to be fun. Um, let's see. Pull that away. We got Elephant Note, Pinterest, Wikipedia, YouTube on here. Right down there at the bottom, if it'll load. Doesn't look like YouTube's functioning. Ubuntu One, which is like a um, cloud service, Amazon, some music stuff, Ski Safari, some different little things, calculator, I'm sure probably works. Yeah, calculator. So, anyway, um, that's basically it, guys. This is kind of like an overview of it. Uh, so if you want to get on here and play with uh, Ubuntu uh, for your tablet or a Nexus device, if you have one, you want to install it on there, you can install with Multiround like I just did. Really, really cool. Um, a lot of features. With Multiround, we can always just reboot the device. Now, to reboot, you're going to have to power off like this and then power back on. I don't think there is a boot feature to boot to reboot without just killing it with holding the power button. And then if you want to get back to your stock ROM, just go to internal and boot and there you go. So hope you guys like this uh, little install video of using multi-ROM to install um, Ubuntu Touch Preview. Again, a lot of things aren't working, but if you guys want to check it out and see what's going to be coming here in a couple months when they release a, uh, the actual version here for these devices, give it a shot. I uh, hope you guys like this video. As always, uh, subscribe down below if you want. Uh, you can check out my website, Root Junkie, right here above my thumb. A lot of good stuff on there, a lot of great information on a lot of devices that I, follow, I take care of and make videos on. Or follow me on Facebook or Twitter, and we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.